It has been a stellar campaign for Team India in this World Cup. They have remained unbeaten so far and have reached the finals. The only team, the only other team that has managed to do this is Australia. They did it in 2003 as well as in 2007. Is it going to be a repeat of 2003 or is it going to be India winning this World Cup this time around? We'll have to wait and watch for that. Joining me right now to talk about that match is uh, the Australian High Commissioner to India, Mr. Philip Green. Welcome to NDTV, sir. Thank you very much, Asana. Great to be with you. Uh, first of all, just give us a sense of uh, the mood here at the Australian High Commission as well as uh, back home in uh, Australia. Well, of course, we're very excited. Um, it's been a super tournament. Yeah. Uh, and the Australian team has gone from slightly shaky start to finding a way to win, including from difficult spots in certain games seems that they're peaking at the right time yeah. so for us for the Australia, whole Australian High Commission of course we're a group of Australians and Indians yeah. everyone very excited uh, back home um, it's it's been a tournament that people have watched in the late hours of the evening and the early yeah. hours of the morning difficult to follow some of the games but I think the excitement is really building as we get to this crescendo tomorrow you see, this is also a repeat of the final uh, uh, of 2003 and uh, we all know what happened in 2003. Are you expecting uh, it to be a repeat of that or uh, do you feel uh, that uh, India in this tournament uh, is a little different from uh, that particular team? I think it is different. Uh, I think, I mean, the Indian team is the form team of the comp competition without question. Uh, I, I think India as a playing group is more professional these days I, okay. to be perfectly honest I think India has learnt many of the skills that Australia pioneered in international cricket yeah. focus on fitness focus yeah. on fielding so we're not in 2003 but we're we're at a moment where both teams are really hitting their straps and I'm looking forward to a really exciting game do you see uh, any sort of similarities between that uh, team uh Ricky Ponting's team and Rohit Sharma's team in terms of how they play cricket and how dominant they have uh, been uh, in this, uh, especially for India in this tournament as well as uh, Ricky Ponting's team in that uh, tournament. I haven't really thought about it in that way, but you know, watching Indi India in this tournament, uh, they're very balanced. Uh, they have great skills, both with bat and ball, and their composure has been impressive. So. Uh, they're clearly the favourites. They deserve to be. And um, it's, a, it's a top team. It's a very worthy opponent for Australia to be meeting. Well, uh, the fact that Australia, whenever it comes to an ICC tournament, it just, it just transforms into a completely different beast. What do you feel uh, is the reason for that? I'd say a couple of things. Um, firstly, there's a, there's a level of professionalism about the way in which the team and the management do their work. So I don't think it's coincidental that the Australian team is hitting form at the right end of the tournament. Um, I reckon that Pat Cummins' leadership is yeah. a big part of this. Yeah. Uh, he's got a great cricketing brain and a super leader. So yeah. I think that's uh, an important part of it. But I think there's another factor which is hard to put your finger on, which is a uh, never say die backs against the wall spirit that Australians that's our legend that's our myth yeah. that's what we think we are it's epitomized by our crit cricketers and yeah. their determination to find ways to win even when the going looks pretty tough so I think that's why we are where we are and tomorrow we'll see uh, what we can do with it it's interesting that you mentioned Pat Cummins uh, as a leader do you feel uh, Pat Cummins as a captain as a leader doesn't really get the get the credit that he deserves uh, in world cricket for Australia? Could be true. I mean, people are inevitably focused on Glenn Maxwell and David Warner, the guys who, um, uh, Travis Head and the guys who are batting Adam Zampa, the way in which he's emerged as a top class spinner. Um, I think more experienced cricket hands know that uh, captaincy and management a smart head, somebody who knows how to get a team into winning place and knows how to lead people yeah. is a core ingredient. Uh, I think Pat Cummins has got that and I think that his reputation will only grow. 
Absolutely. And uh, in terms of uh, the kind of cricket that is being played uh, uh, by the Australian team, by India, uh, do you feel uh, that uh, a lot of that also has to, uh, also has to do with uh, uh, the cricket that we have been playing over the years, especially uh, during the IPL uh, in the bilateral series? We, because we have been playing each other uh, a lot and uh, we tend to know uh, each other's strengths and weaknesses. Uh, do, you th do you think uh, that is also one of the reasons why Australia have managed to do well uh, in the subcontinent? Could be, um, and it's not just knowing the Indian players, it's knowing the pitches, it's being very familiar with the cities and the environments. Yeah. Uh, the old days when touring India was a completely new experience for Australian cricket is gone. Yeah. Uh, David Warner knows this town really well. Yeah. He's telling, telling me things about it. <laughs> so um, I think you're right. I, I think that, uh, I mean, India is still a home ground advantage, no question about that. But uh, I think that's lessened now than what it was in the past. Well, uh, you mentioned uh, David Warner and uh, the kind of uh, association David Warner has uh, with the Indian fans. Uh, you don't really see that uh, with other players, uh, especially, especially a foreign uh, player. Uh, he has been uh, posting a lot on his Instagram, etc. He is very interested in the culture. In, uh, do you see that, uh, that exchange, that cultural exchange also helps in building that relationship with the fans, etc.? I think that's right, and uh, Dave is a guy who uh, is easy with people. He's yeah. a super person to meet yeah. and engage with. Uh, I have to say I've been struck, I'm still relatively new in this country, uh, at what his uh, pool is here. Uh, every time he's on the boundary somewhere, yeah. there seem to be a hundred cell phone cameras on him, yeah. uh, and occasionally he does something to make them snap and enjoy it even more. Uh, he's uh, he's, he's a person with a great personality and, uh, and really loves this country. Yeah. So, uh, great dancer I, as well. Apparently. <laughs> certainly better than me. Uh, at any rate, he is, um, uh, you, you know, he, he's someone who's really made a mark here and that's impressive. Yeah. Talking about uh, the cricket side of it, India has, uh, it has been an Indian juggernaut, uh, so to say, uh, in this particular World Cup. Uh, are you confident that Australia will be able to stop India this time? Uh, in this World Cup. Going by what we have seen, India have managed to almost uh, win one-sided uh, in every single match that they have played, except for Australia, uh, against Australia, where they lost a couple of wickets early. Mm. And uh, it was only because Virat Kohli's catch was dropped by Mitchell Marsh. Uh, Thanks that it's for a memory. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's a completely different story right now. But do you feel uh, uh, Australia have it in them to stop uh, India in the kind of form that they are right now? Well, I think India are favourites, but I definitely think Australia have got it in them to, uh, to win this match. You know, on the one hand, you've got an Indian side which has won every match and has not been tested very much during the tournament. Yeah. Hard to beat that as a basis for playing in the final. And you've got an Australian team which has been tested and as occasion looked like they weren't going to win matches and then won them. Yeah. Uh, that's a pretty powerful... Uh, ingredient to have in your player group. So I think that only makes for a more fascinating contest tomorrow. Talking about the contest, uh, what is that one contest uh, in particular that you're looking uh, for? Um, well, there's lots of them out there, uh, but I'd l I I'd, I'm really enjoying watching Adam Zampa uh, yeah. emerge yeah. As, as a great Australian spinner. Uh, and the contest between him and Kohli will be, will be really super to watch. Wonderful. Uh, also, uh, the fact that India and Australia have had uh, a great relationship uh, over the years. Uh, and uh, cricket has been one of, uh, one of the reasons why there are uh, such wonderful ties between the two countries. Do you think uh, that, uh, uh, that, that is uh, one of the reasons why? Oh, without doubt. Um, and it's partly because we know each other and partly because we have always have something in common to talk about. I traveled across this country from Calcutta to Jaisalmer 30 years ago, and in every train carriage I was in, there was always a conversation about cricket. Right. That's one thing, but uh, I think Indians, many Indians think about Australia in terms of our cricketer's reputation. Yeah. Uh, Tough-minded, never say, say die, always in the contest. Yeah. Um, if I was in the Indian government, I'd want Australia on my side. 
tough-minded, yeah. never say die, rather yeah. than against you. I think that's the way your government sees it too. All right. Mr. Philip Green, thank you very much for talking to MBTV. And uh, we hope uh, that it's a great contest tomorrow. And uh, all the best. Thank you so much, Osama. Thank you. With camera person Ashok Mahali at the Australian High Commission, this is Osama Shah for NDTV.